Welcome to the Ultimate Off-Road Showdown. Today, we're pitting two legendary vehicles against each other, the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series and the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. Let's start with the Land Cruiser 70 Series. This rugged beast is built to conquer any terrain, with its powerful V8 engine, heavy-duty suspension, and outstanding ground clearance. Whether you're traversing rocky mountains or muddy trails, the Land Cruiser 70 Series is up for the challenge. Now, let's meet the Ford Ranger Raptor. This adrenaline pumping machine is designed to handle extreme off-road conditions. With its high-performance EcoBoost engine, off-road suspension, and specially tuned shocks, the Ranger Raptor offers an exhilarating driving experience. From jumps to dessert dunes, this truck can handle it all. When it comes to capability, both vehicles excel. The Land Cruiser 70 Series offers exceptional towing capacity and a spacious cabin, perfect for long adventures. On the other hand, the Ranger Raptor is equipped with advanced off-road technology, such as terrain management system and trail control, ensuring optimal performance in every situation. Both the Land Cruiser 70 Series and the Ranger Raptor are built tough, but each brings its own unique qualities to the table. Whether you value rugged reliability or high-speed thrills, there's a vehicle to suit your off-road dreams. So, which one reigns supreme? It's up to you to decide. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching our Ultimate Off-Road Showdown, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting automotive content. Twenty twenty four Toyota Land Cruiser seventy series facelift debuts, new two point eight L turbo diesel, safety sense, returns to Japan. The 70 Series Toyota Land Cruiser is an evergreen model that has remained in the carmaker's lineup for nearly four decades. First introduced in 1984, the off-roader has been continuously updated over the years, with the latest being announced in conjunction with the debut of the 250 Series Land Cruiser Prado today. As part of the refresh, the 70 Series will be offered with a 1G DFTV 2.8-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel engine that makes 204 PS, 201 HP or 150 kilowatts, at 3,400 RPM and 500 nanometers of torque from 1,600 to 2,800 RPM, paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission, 6 Super ECT. In Australia, the 4-cylinder engine makes 70 nanometers more than the proven 4.5-liter turbo diesel V8, which will continue to be offered in the market. Rated at 205 PS, 202 HP or 151 kilowatts, at 3,400 RPM and 430 nanometers from 1,200 to 3,200 RPM, the V8 is mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox. A 4-wheel drive system is standard regardless of engine choice. A refreshed design is also one of the changes made to the 70 series, with the front end sporting a new grille and circular LED headlamps. Elsewhere, the front fenders and bonnet are made to appear more robust, matching the beefy front bumper. 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor, finally, America gets the Blue Oval's beastliest mid-size truck. This 405 HP Bronco Raptor with a bed is lighter, likely quicker, more useful, and way cheaper. Enthusiasts can be forgiven for having never paid the Ford Ranger much attention. From 1983 to 2011 it soldiered on with minimal updating and no performance variants, Sadly, the company passed on the prototype Cobra-powered SVT Ranger V8 we tested in the mid-1990s. And when Ford brought the Global T6 Ranger here in 2019, 
halfway through its life cycle globally, it resumed its predecessor's faithful farm dog persona. Well, the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor is your wake-up call to start paying Ford's midsizer some attention. Ford Australia-led development of the T6 platform this new global Ranger shares with the Bronco and some SUVs built in Brazil, Africa, and Asia. Oz is a natural place to develop a trophy truck desert racier like the off-road Raptor variant, as that continent features the highest percentage of desert coverage. The newest Ranger Raptor already debuted across the pond though this is the first time the model will be sold in America, we're focusing on the U.S. spec truck here. A great deal of the Ranger Raptor's initial development occurred in the Alice Springs area, known as the capital of Australia's Red Centre. But the Ford Performance Engineers from Dearborn most familiar with the F-150. Raptor's awesome Fox live valve shocks braved COVID travel. Challenges to spend time dodging roos in the outback. 2024, Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series. Along the sides, the iconic profile the model remains largely unchanged, retaining details like the rear fender air vent garnish, squarish side mirrors and even a retractable radio antenna. As for the rear, the vertical taillights have now been rotated to be horizontal and integrated into the rear bumper, Toyota placed covers over where they used to be. According to Toyota, the updated model measures 4,890 mm in length, 1,870 mm in width, 1,920 mm in height and has wheelbase of 2,730 mm. The latter frame chassis used is still the same as before although it has been improved to provide more comfortable on-road driving while still maintaining off-road capability. Moving inside, the general design of the cabin remains familiar, although the center console has been redesigned to accommodate the shift lever for the six-speed auto gearbox. Depending on the chosen grade, a dial or shift lever is used to control the vehicle's differential system. Modern touches include a 4.2-inch multi-info display in the instrument cluster and a 6.7-inch touchscreen head unit that supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. What engine powers the Ranger Raptor? As was widely expected, our Ranger Raptor gets a version of the Bronco. Raptor's 3.0-liter twin-turbo EcoBoost V6. Because the exhaust is about 14 inches longer and the charge air cooler is packaged lower, Increasing the amount of plumbing incurs greater losses, the power and torque are down slightly, from the Bronco Raptor's 418 HP and 440 LBFT to 405 HP and 430 LBFT but don't fret. Pickup boxes are way lighter than glassed in SUV bodies, so Ford's claim for the Ranger Raptor's curb weight comes in about 400 pounds less than the last two Bronco Raptors we weighed, giving Ranger a superior weight to power ratio, it might even best that of the 3.5-liter EcoBoost F-150 Raptor 37. And as in the Bronco Raptor, this engine is tuned to reward the revs, making 90% of peak power at redline. Naturally like all its North American kin, the Ranger routes that torque through a 10-speed automatic and thence through an electronically controlled transfer case out to front and rear locking differentials. These are closely related to the ones in the Bronco Raptor, but with revisions to the clutches in the T-case and front diff tailored to the truck's different missions, example the Desert Racing Ranger shouldn't ever need to pull itself up over an obstacle when only one front tire has traction. Toyota also went through the trouble of adding lane departure alert, road sign assist and automatic high beam to the 70 series as part of the Toyota Safety Sense suite of advanced driver assistance features. While the 70 series isn't sold in a lot of countries these days, it remains immensely popular in markets like Australia as well as Africa thanks to its simplicity and reliability. The United Nations and various non-governmental organizations (NGOs) also swear by the model for aid and humanitarian efforts in hard-to-reach places. Japanese customers will also be glad to know the 70 series is making another return to the country after briefly reappearing as a 30th anniversary celebratory model in 2014. Set to go on sale there this winter, Japan will once again have all three Land Cruiser series, 70, 200, and 50 and 300, on sale. The market introduction of the updated 70 series in Australia takes place in Q4 this year, and it will be offered in single cab, double cab, trooper carrier, and wagon variants. The Ranger Raptor Desert Race Ready Suspension As with all other Raptors, 
the suspension travel is greatly increased from the mainstream 2024 Ford Rangers 5.2 inches of jounce and 3.9 inches of rebound in front and 5.0-3.8 rear to the Raptors 5.2-4.8 front and 6.5-5.0 rear or 1.4 inch more front and 2.7 inch more rear total travel. That's on the stock 33 inch BF Goodrich All-Terrain T-slash AK03S, subtract a half inch if you upsize to 35s as Aussie's modifiers have been known to do. These 17-inch tires can be fitted to beadlock-capable wheels for the serious sand runners or rock crawlers. Note that at 10.7 inches, ground clearance is up 1.4 inches relative to base rangers, but still falls 3.8 inches shy of the Bronco Raptor, and approach-slash-departure angles are also much better suited to desert racing than boulder parkour. For this reason, there's also no stabilizer bar disconnect. To achieve the suspension travel increase, new upper and lower aluminum front. Control arms add 3.5 inches to the front track and the upper shock mount is revised. The rear suspension gets the F-150 Raptor treatment, ditching the leaf springs for radius arms and coilover shock units mounted outboard of the frame. The 2.5 inch Fox Live Valve internal bypass shocks, explained here are programmed by Ford Performance with varying damping maps with position-sensitive damping that changes rates mid-stroke on a given jounce or rebound event. These are tailored to suit seven different drive modes, normal, tow slash haul, sport, slippery, off-road, rock crawl, and Baja. An R mode allows tailoring of the various parameters to the driver's preference, and the system continuously monitors driving style to provide appropriate damping if, for example, you suddenly start ripping across the desert without switching to Baja mode. And the system senses when the wheels leave the ground and preps the shocks for a safe landing regardless of mode. The shocks also feature new Teflon infused oil to reduce friction and heat buildup up within the shocks, this technology had a soft launch on F-150 Raptor midway through the 2021 model year.